Hello and welcome to the Band of Brothers reunion 2015 here in Normandy. The Wargaming team prides itself on the attention to historical detail that we put into the games because we take history very seriously. It's part of who we are as a company, it's part of our DNA. We also feel that we have an obligation to give back because our success is based on this fidelity to historical realism in the games. Preserving this history, it's not just about preserving the hardware, it's also the stories and that's partly why we've decided to sponsor the Band of Brother reunion. The veterans didn't have a way to talk directly about it. And a lot of those stories just were between them. And the show opened up a, a door for families to say, is it okay if we talk about this? And then they had a way to talk about it. The most moving things that have happened to me have been with people who come up to me and say, I just have to tell you, my grandfather told me a story because we watched Band of Brothers together that I never would have known, and he's since passed away. We're here now at one of the most famous landing sites of D-Day. It was here on Omaha Beach on June the 6th, 1944, that was the scene of the largest amphibious invasion ever. The defenses were formidable. The whole area was littered with dragon's teeth topped with mine to defeat the amphibious landing craft. And from the cliffs surrounding us, the Germans had strong gun emplacements. D-Day had indeed begun in earnest. Behind me you can see the 30 meter cliffs that were the task of the 2nd Battalion Rangement to scale and take out the heavily fortified positions. It was believed there were in excess of six 150 millimeter guns located up here. So the games you play, there's a ton of research that went into developing them. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Overlord map. Basically, the whole point of this was to bring D-Day to the game. It was based on the real Omaha Beach that you might have seen, and even though it's not 100% copy, it was strongly inspired by it. The aim was to adapt it so that the players could enjoy it and still have an immersive feeling about playing on the actual place where their grandparents fought the war. World War II Foundation is, is just this great organization that, that keeps telling those stories, that keeps uh, documenting uh, these brave men and women's lives, which just gives uh, fans of the show and, uh, you know, uh, history buffs a chance to come and meet us, meet some of the vets, and, and feel a little bit of that history that they might otherwise not have had. Welcome to Arizona Camp in Carantan. We remember a uh, old man died for, uh, for us in Normandy in 1944 for the liberation of France. We do all the uh, troops in this camp, airborne, infantry, navy. So this is um, Angovilla Plan. It's a village that uh, became a central part of the 101st Airborne's history. And this church became an aid station. Two American medics, uh, both with very little training, happened to end up stumbling on this place. They came here, they pinned a Red Cross flag to the door and identified it as a place of, uh, of aid. And the oath of medics is they must treat anybody in need of attention, be they friend or enemy, and uh, they stuck rigidly to that plan. And uh, ultimately about 80 to 85 men were treated in there, from both sides and a civilian. And uh, what's remarkable is that 71 years later, you can still see blood stains on the wooden benches there where the, the men were, were lying there. And it's one of those little stories that somehow resonates with people because of it, of it. it's all about compassion. It's about just treating people who, who need, uh, need help. That's it, we finished our time here with the Band of Brothers reunion 2015. And we finish here on Utah Beach. Just to close the show then, a massive thank you to the World War II Foundation but most of all, a massive thank you to all those veterans who gave so much.